Welcome! In today's video, I will show you how you can separate the effects of a layer to a new layer and how to save this to a macro. Let's get started. From time to time, it is necessary to separate the effects from a layer. Having a macro to do this for you could be very useful. Let me first start by showing how the effect separation macro works. Let's draw a circle and apply some effects to it. For example, a shadow and an outline. As I already have the macro, let me run it. If you cannot see the library panel, turn it on by using the view menu and selecting studio library. If macros is also turned off, turn that one on too, as we will be using the macros later on the video. Now let's apply it. As you can see, a new layer has been added called layer effects. This contains the effects applied to the original layer. Also, the effects have been removed from the circle. You can now modify the effects independently in any way you see fit. So let's create this macro. Before we start, let's enable all the effects on a layer. The reason for this is that the macro we will be recording will need to remove all these effects later. Once we have done this, let's press the record button from the macros panel. First thing we do is to duplicate the layer by pressing my favorite shortcut, you guessed it right, Command J. As you have noticed, the macro panel has recorded this action. Now. The next step is to set the fill opacity to 0% by opening up the effects dialog. By doing this, the layer itself becomes invisible and only the effects are shown. Now we can rasterize the layer by right clicking on it and selecting rasterize. Important is to turn off the preserve layers checkbox. This will make sure that the effects are also rasterized. Now we select back the original layer and the macro recorder is asking which layer to use. We will choose the layer below because the original layer was below the layer we just duplicated. Now we have our original layer selected. It is time to turn off all the effects so this gets recorded into the macro as we mentioned earlier. Once done, let's select the duplicated layer again and rename it for better administration. With this step, we are done with recording our macro. To stop recording, well, you guessed it probably, we just press the stop button on the macro panel. Okay, before we continue, let's check if we didn't make any mistakes. It looks like everything went well. The effects are on another layer and the original layer has no more effects. Let me quickly remove the effect layer and test the macro before we save it to our library. I will be testing by adding a text layer and applying two effects to it. An outer shadow and an outer glow. Let's test the macro by selecting the text layer and pressing the play button. There we have it. It worked flawlessly. We can modify the effects independently now. We have successfully separated the effects. Last step is now to add the macro to our library. We can do this by using the add to library icon in the macro panel. This will pop up a dialog. You can select a category and give it a descriptive name. For example, separate effects to new layer and press OK. As I already have it, I will just press cancel. Now your macro is saved and anytime you need to separate the effect, you can use this macro you just saved. I hope this video was useful for you. Thanks for watching and until next time.